I would say gimmick. Great. No, ten out of ten. Created a new class of instrument. Um, I have no complaints. I use it in Logic, mostly. Uh, I've tried to mess around with it in Ableton, but you have to create like 16 channels of MIDI in Ableton in order for it to understand the um, five dimensions that this thing offers in your music. So, mostly use it with Logic. Other times I use it on my iPad or iPhone when I'm bored. It's, uh, it's cool to just have to mess around with. What's cool yeah. about keys like this is that they don't have um, like any bounce back like most traditional keyboards do. It's a silicone surface. So it's like a drum pad too. So the response is super quick, especially when you're doing drums on it. And that's what the blocks, um, the regular light blocks have that I want to get. And they snap to it magnetically. So it's like click and turns on and syncs up with your Rolly Studio app, which is pretty crazy. I think that's insane. Yeah. yeah. No, they did a good job. Everything about this is awesome. violins. Hold on a second. When you have a polyphonic instrument, you can do two hands going two separate ways at once. I saw that. I saw that like... Insane. Yeah. Rolly, you put enough magic in a controller. <laughs> <laughs> can you change an octave on here? Yeah. Do you have to do you it. You see these arrows on top? Yeah. I like that you can do it in real time too. That expression you get, that familiarity once you get that vibrato down, it feels really natural doing that on here. It's super tactile, so it doesn't feel strange to me. And I think that the replication of those sounds, compared to a lot of just other easy soft synths that are out there that a lot of people are buying, I think this thing sounds way better. Yeah. Like there's like a, um, a world sort patch on there too. That thing is that thing is sick. Like I would fully use this to make to make a track. It just feels like you're you spent your money on something that's like leaning towards the future. In the sense that I don't have to spend. If I'm gonna buy like an MPC, I know I'm gonna have to spend two grand, at least a thousand bucks on like the live, you know. So there's certain things that you're really breaking the bank to get those sounds, and that's cool that. I mean, dude, like you're on the train, you're on the bus, you're just like at your homies or something like that. You might take out your seat. I think I'd rather have this than uh, any other brand name mini mini controller. Most importantly, free. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can take it anywhere. I love, that's what I'm saying. Like, anywhere. Like you don't have to connect your. The music just your, goes your with your you. Small mini controller with a cable. No. You know I mean? It's like a spaceship. I mean, and in the, the thing I'll say too is like, how many of y'all like have had a Bluetooth receiver or have had latency problems just with your USB, with like any DAW, any software, multiple track counts. I really don't think this thing is gonna run into that issue. Oh, it's really responsive. It's sleek. I mean, this is not gonna take up a lot of room in your bag or anything like that, too. I could play this, we'll have two mics. You could have another one of these or two of these. Bigger one or you could snap three them, of these. you could snap them together. Yeah, I mean I played with this thing for five minutes and I feel like it's already worth it. The only bad thing that I can come up with is it does get dirty. See, they, I mean, it, if they included some kind of cloth or like spray with like a little uh, little pad or some kind of brush that you could just kind of yeah. I mean, for all the haters, I think that y'all are wasting your time hating. We should get down with the new movement because this is a new type of instrument completely. This isn't a keyboard; it's a seaboard, and there's five dimensions of touch, so it brings your music to a whole new level. And really keep keep innovating. Go and after messing with it, I, I definitely feel like I would pick one of these up. That's dope. So there you have it, folks. That's the review.